Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about polar coordinates. This one is the number 35 from the Hackerank series of problems and solutions. So let's get into it. Before I start with the explanation of the task, I've got a Jupyter notebook on the right side of my screen for me to be able to tell you what I'm doing and how I'm tackling this problem. And I've got the Hackerank dashboard on the left side. I'm just going to go on and open the polar coordinates problem and let's get into it. To the right side of the HackerRank dashboard, you've got the area for you to submit your code. And the task today is, given a number, a complex number, how can we convert that to its polar coordinates? There is heaps of explanation on the task itself. I really encourage you to read this explanation for you to understand how do we move from a complex number to its polar coordinate. Essentially, for a complex number, you can convert to its R and the theta component. I will leave you to understand the theory. My job is to tell you how to do it in Python. Here is the task. You are given a complex Z number. Your task is to convert it to polar coordinates. For example, when a number 1 plus 2J is given to this program, it will convert it to its R and theta component. For us to be able to tackle this problem, we will need to import the CMath library. So I'm just going to write in my Jupyter Notebook, import CMath, which imports the CMath library. A user will give us a number like 1 plus 2j, which is a complex number, and Python understands complex numbers, which is great. And now for me to be able to calculate its R component, all I need to do is to calculate the absolute value of Z. Let me just print R for you. You will see that the R value for that example number is 2.23 and many different decimal points after that. Now, after I have calculated the R, it's time to calculate the phase of this complex number. So if I call a value phase, I will need to import the phase function from the CMath library and feed value z into that function. If I print the phase right after it, you will see that 1.107 and all the decimal points is the phase. I will put things into a bit of an order and into a function for us to be able to use multiple times. So let's import CMath up the top, which is easy. Let's define a function for polar coordinates. Just let's call it polar coordinates of any z value. And I will define R as the absolute value of Z, as I did in my Jupyter Notebook. And phase will be equal to cmath.phase function of Z. And essentially, at the end, I need to return the R and the phase. And that's my function. That's all I need to do. Given the user will import their input as a string, I need to convert it to a complex value. So Z will be the complex value of the user input after we have stripped it from any space characters. So once done that, the Z comes from the user. All I need to do is apply the polar coordinates function onto the Z. R and theta will come from using the polar coordinates function onto the Z value. This one needs to be a comma. And once I have done that, I will print R and I will pre print theta. Let's run the code and see if it runs. Okay, HackerRank says that congratulations, the first test case was correct. Once we submit the code, it will run multiple test cases and it will say this code was reproducible on multiple cases. You can see that now I have earned another 10 points, which means that the challenge was correctly done. Thank you for listening in. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and ask any questions in the comments area. Thank you.